Hey guys, we'll take up one more problem on linearity property of a system. But this time we'll consider discrete time system y of n is equal to cos of x of n. The thing is now whether it's a continuous time system or discrete time system concept is same first we have to get desired output of a linear system and then we have to get system output and if both are same the system is linear otherwise the system is non-linear okay let us take up this system solution so to get to get desired output z output of linear system so as per the linearity property transformation of x of n is equal to y of n transformation of x of n is equal to what is y of n cos of x of n right now what I will give the scaled input a times x1 of n is equal to cos of accordingly it is a times x1 of n right and what is this scaled output right a times y1 of n okay similarly one more scaled input transformation of a times x2 of n is equal to cos of I'm sorry this is b so b times x2 of n and what is this again scaled output p times y2 of n now we shall combine it transformation of a times x1 of n plus b times x2 of n is equal to what is output a times y1 of n plus b times y2 of n right and what is a times y1 of n it is cos of a times x1 of n plus cos of b times x2 of n ok this is equation 1 and what is this this is actually desired output of a linear system right now we'll try to get the system output to get to get system output what is the system system is y of n is equal to cos of x of n right so what is the system doing whatever the signal you feed that goes inside the cos right that is transformation of x of n is equal to uh, y of n and transformation of x of n is equal to what is y of n cos of x of n so whatever the signal we feed to the system that will go inside the angle of the cause cause of that signal okay so instead of feeding x of n I feed a times x1 of n to the system what is the output it is nothing but cause of a times x1 of n and I'll feed another input b times x2 of n which is scaled by factor of p and what is the output cause of b times x2 of n whatever the signal we feed that goes inside the cos now if I combine it transformation of a times x1 of n plus b times x2 of n okay, as a whole this is one signal what is the output so cos of this entire signal goes inside the uh, cos a times x1 of n plus b times x2 of n Okay, so now what is this? This is actually system output. So what was the desired output? The desired output was cos a times x1 of n plus cos b times x2 of n. 
and the system is cos of a times x1 of n plus b times x2 of n. So what is the system? Non-linear, right? Because equation 1 is not equal to equation 2. Therefore, system is, system is non-linear.